With brand new rides and attractions already coming to Chessington World of Adventures such as Jumanji and the Elephant Water Slide Park. If I owned the park and had unlimited money, which I very much wish was the case, <laughs> I'd literally be playing Planet Coaster Sandbox mode in real life. What would I change about the Chessington World of Adventures Resort? Of course, I did say that I do in fact own the park now, so expect Rattlesnake to be gone tomorrow and Vampire to be converted into Fly in three weeks time. So what would I build? Today, I'm gonna discuss all of that. Be sure to leave what you would do to the park in the comments below. And also thank you so much for 27,000 subscribers. It honestly means the world. Thank you so much. And if you are new around here and go on to enjoy this video, please subscribe. It'd be greatly appreciated. First of all, we have the main entrance over here. Now, if we place some iron bars along the side, no one can get in. No, but they're already redoing this entrance, so we'll leave that. So if we're coming in from this side of the park, we have... Yes, I would bring back Hocus Pocus Locus Brumus, although I never did it, but I think it was a fan favourite. We continue round and go to Adventure Point. What would I do in Adventure Point? In this area, I would bring back the monorail, the yellow little monorail. No, not that one. The Safari Skyway was so iconic, and as much as it is quite outdated, I own the place, so I can do what I want. Everything else in this area is uh, quite nice. You've got the Chessington Armada there. Oh, God. Follow through to Mexicana. Oh, God. This entire area will be completely different by the time I'm done with it. But this area of the park currently has a ride that I personally dislike. Never mentioned that before. And after last year, it also has a ride that had something rather unfortunate happen to it. So starting off, I'd fix Scorpion Express because genuinely for half of 2022, it was sat there with half a train midway through the track. And of course, with the other half of Mexicana, we go over to the ride that, oh God, how would I deal with Rattlesnake? Um... I'd make Rattlesnake XXL. Let's go. I'd remove it. <laughs> no. Moving onwards to Croc Drop. That's sad. I remember bricking it on that when I was 12. But honestly, as much as I'd love to bring that back, Croc Drop is really good. The theme is impeccable and oh, I'll let Sobek live to see another day. Toon Blaster. Oh, the big warehouse. The theme of the ride is perfect, but the lasers... Oh god. So I've removed the lasers and fix up the audio and some of the effects because other than that, it's a beautiful, amazing dark ride. Except the loudest of t And a ride that goes above Tomb Blaster is Tiger Rock and this is where one of the big changes is going to be. Now the theming in the area is quite nice but as you can see by the top, it's very metal. Brilliant tiger that. So what I'd do is I'd rip out the log flume and replace it with either a big modernized rapids ride like Infinity Falls at SeaWorld or even a water coaster. Wouldn't that be cool? You could literally keep the tiger theme and have this huge water coaster splashdown or rapid splashdown right beneath that tiger. And it'd be so good. Uh, we can skip past Wild Asia because I don't think I'd add anything other than maybe another flat ride. Monkey Swing is the best ride in the park, so... If you deny that, I'll shoot you. Then we come to Dragon's Fury. Mm, big spin. It's definitely the best ride on park. And if I had to do something to it, then I guess I'd replace it with a Ride to Happiness clone. Because wouldn't that be family friendly? There is this little play area in the middle, but um, I can't say to remove that play area because look at me. Look at me, I'm enjoying my life. Now, if this was a year ago, I would have said, you know what, put a quad bike coaster in this plot of land. But I can't now, there's a big jungle. And over here in the area of Wild Woods, which I prefer to Transylvania, we have, of course, Gruffalo River Ride Adventure on the left as you enter. What's that? After my ownership, it's called Bubbleworks now? Literally, no one would disagree with me. I'm bringing back Bubbleworks. However, my vampire opinion might be deemed controversial by some. I think this ride has tested the limits of time. It's come so far. It's ran so many different times. Why does this sound like a send-off? But of course, over the years, it's got very janky and it's a little bit rough and a little bit outdated. So why not bring the coma in to completely retrack it? A complete retrack and new trains would help this ride so much and it would even help the park out. I'd add some extra theming here and there and I'd maybe even change the colour of track because they're doing that with Nemesis over Alton Towers and it gives the effect of this is a brand new experience. So... Why wouldn't you do that? But doing this would help increase the longevity of an icon in the park. No, for God's sake. But yeah, my version of Chessington looks rather nice, if I do say so myself. If you're interested to see what my version of Alton Towers would look like, click here. It looks very Alton Towers-y.